down there. Oh, fuck! Fuck. Oh my god, dude, where am I? What the fuck? Oh damn, he just snapped me in half. Holy shit! What is up everybody, Disco Dracula here, and I am very excited to be playing uh, Murder House. This is another game from Puppet Combo. Um, I'm really excited to check this one out. It came out um, around Halloween time, sometime in October. It's basically from what I've read. It's about a uh, guy in an Easter Bunny costume that is a serial killer and is stalking you. So uh, we're gonna jump right into it here, new game. Uh, so there's a prologue so we got the prologue which takes place in 1985 and then murder house um, which takes place in 88 so we're not gonna skip the prologue obviously we're gonna jump in new game yes I'm really excited I love puppet combo so much um, I mean just listen to that music Okay, kid, you're next. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're on tank controls, um, which I'm not a huge fan of, to be honest. I hate tank controls. It's kind of hard. Uh, who's taking the picture here? I just see, f I just see shoes. There's nobody actually back there, though. <laughs> God, look at that bunny costume, man. Uh, if I was a kid, I wouldn't want to get on this dude's lap either. That is the creepiest fucking Easter bunny costume I've ever seen. Come on, kid. Get your ass up there. All right, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Smile, kid. Uh, I guess I should look at the camera. Say cheese. Cheese. Oh, look at me. So my dude's either really short, or the Easter Bunny's really fucking massive, because I looked tiny. I looked like I came up to that dude's kneecaps. I must have fallen asleep. Wait a minute. What the hell is going on here? Oh, okay, alright. I was in the... What is that, a photo booth? I was in the photo booth. Mom? Is the mall closed? Uh, I mean, I'd assume so. You're literally the only person in here. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I thought I was staring at the photo booth. I didn't know I was inside of it. Alright, yeah, this is an abandoned mall. Which, uh, theoretically, I actually work in a mall. Um, I, I'm a manager at a movie music store. Theoretically, you would think that there's uh, security guards, like overnight security guards or something, but there doesn't seem to be anybody here. Look how tiny my dude is. Look how big this bench is compared to my guy. I need to hit a growth spurt. closed kiosk so I've always found like um, like a abandoned malls closed down malls uh, stuff like that really eerie and creepy I, I want to go to some and just check it out same thing with like abandoned theme parks and stuff I just find that setting like very just unnerving Can I crawl under here, maybe? Um, I'm pressing control. It's not doing anything. Oh, here we go. A security gate. Looks like I can crawl under it. Yeah, let's do it. How do I do that, though? Oh, okay. I just click. Alright. Man, look at my mullet, dude. Look at that. Holy shit. What a what a haircut. <clears throat> I 
Oh, uh, is this... Yep, that's where the Easter Bunny was taking photos. It sure is empty now. Is there something up there that I need to get? The Easter Bunny's chair. I guess he went home for the night. Or did he? Can we steal the camera? Yeah, let's just take the camera. No, we can't. Uh, I don't like this music. Sounds like it's reaching like shit's about to hit the fan levels. So let's just get the fuck out of here. Of course it's closed. Am I about to get attacked? Because I'm assuming the Easter Bunny hasn't gone home. Oh, I just ran into something. Will you take the key? Hell yeah. I don't know what it goes to. I can use inventory items by pressing the Z key. Z. Okay. The key, I wonder what it opens. It doesn't say. Justin, dude, look at this face. There is no way I'm like a six-year-old kid, which is what I initially thought. This dude looks like he's like 16 years old, and um, you probably shouldn't be sitting on the Easter Bunny's lap at the age of 16. That's just my opinion. You're a little, you're a little, uh, a little weird, Justin. Can I, can I unlock this gate? Is that what the key goes to? Another security gate. This one is locked. Okay, well, I guess let's try. It's unlocked. Okay, so that's where I had to use it. Whoa, that was weird. You can't run a little faster, dude? I mean, I know your legs are small, but, like, let's go. Did I just see something up here? There's got to be a way out. Well, I mean, that's what we're looking for, Justin. Oh, look at that. There's an exit right here. Let's get the hell out of here. How does... Uh, okay. He fell asleep in the photo booth, and his mom just straight up left him here, dude? Unless the Easter Bunny got her, too. A missing person poster. Read it? Sure. Police Department, City of Monroe, missing. Daniel Gray, 8 years old, last seen April 6th. I can't read any of that. It it's the, uh, the writing's too small. City of Monroe, huh? I wonder if that's a reference to um, Dawn of the Dead, because, you know, the Monroeville Mall. A missing person poster. Randy Martinez... April 10th, 1983. It looks like he was nine years old. A male with brown hair, brown eyes. Okay. I think Justin's uh, mug shot's going to be up there soon enough. It's locked. It's locked. Are all these going to be locked? It's locked. Okay, I can go in this bathroom. A stall. Should I hide? No. A stall. Should I hide? Hmm. The fact that I can come in here and hide implies that some shit's about to go down. A stall, should I hide? 
No. Not yet, anyways. It's locked. Okay. Don't come in here, please, Easter Bunny. Don't bust in here. Okay, cool. Alright, let's continue down here. This is a long ass hallway. Of course it's locked. That kind of looked like when I ran past it that the door opened. Oh shit! Oh shit, turn around! <laughs> oh fuck! This screen, this is really cool how they did this. This is really, uh, I like this a lot. Yeah, let's get in the fucking bathroom and hide, dude. Let's just hide back here. This seems like a good hiding place. I could peek out with the action button. The action button? What's the action button? I guess just left click and get a closer look with the look button. When I'm finished hiding, I could exit with menu. Okay. Did he come in here? Oh shit, there he is. Oh my god, he's actually opening stalls. Don't come over here, dude! Okay, he went in that room. Let's just, uh, get the fuck out of here. How about that? Hey, can we get out of here? Hello? Okay. Go, 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 go. It's locked! He locked the fucking door! Wait, can I just unlock it? I'm on the inside. Can I just... It doesn't lock from the outside, does it? I have to freaking go in here? But he came in here. <laughs> A broken vending machine. A vending machine. Well, you're a little Sherlock in training, aren't you? Wait, what was back there? Hold on. The door is locked. There's a keypad. Try it. No. I haven't even seen anything that would give me a hint at what the key... Or what the key code is. Can I pick that up? Will you take the flashlight? Yes. Let's equip the flashlight. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming I just... Yeah, okay. Just press F. I can't see. These cameras, man. fuck was that? Uh, yeah, take the screwdriver. Go, 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 go. Holy shit, dude. I think he came in. He's, like, actively on the prowl now. He, like, legit came in, I think. A shower curtain. It's empty. Uh, empty. Yep. Oh, wait. There's something in there. There's something below the drain cover. I can't reach it. Uh, can I use the screwdriver? Yes. There's a key here. 
cool. Tiny key, it says 1024. 1024? I mean, I would assume I'd be able to use it on here, right? One of the lockers should be 1024? Okay, there we go. Uh, it's empty, but there is a code on the inside of the door. 5534. Five, okay. 5534. Five, okay. Alright, it looks like I'm back where I was. So, yeah, try it. Five, five, three, four. It's unlocked. Sweet. Let's go. All right. We're in the break room. Let's get some coffee. An empty coffee pot. Great. A toaster. A refrigerator. It would be rude to take someone's lunch. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's nobody here besides the Easter Bunny, and who gives a shit if we take his lunch or not? He's trying to fucking kill us. Oh, wait, there is somebody back there. That's not the Easter Bunny, though. God help me. The Easter Bunny's trying to kill me. Whoa, calm down. How did you get in here? <laughs> That's Jacksepticeye. <laughs> so sweet that I got locked in. I mean, I think it is. It looked like him. The bunny has gone crazy. I'm not making it up. He's been chasing me. We have to call the police. Hold on. There's a phone in here. Let me go check it out, and you wait here. Yeah, I think that's Jacksepticeye. It kind of sounds like his voice, too. No, don't go. He's going to get you. I'll take care of him. You'll be safe here. I'll lock the door. Dude, that's so cool. I want to be in a puppet combo game. That would be fucking cool. Look out the window. I guess. What am I looking for here? Something gonna jump up? Uh, wait, what was that? Look out the window. The lights shut off? Oh, dude. We're so, f we're so screwed. The lights. I better hide. Yeah, hide under the desk. We're so screwed. This is the worst hiding spot. There is literally... Like, I would have stuffed myself in one of the freaking... What? I can't remember what those are called right now. The little pull-out drawer thingies. I, I would stuff myself in there. I guess you don't really have time. Oh, dude, the door's opening. Monitor Jack, come save us. Come beat him up with the mop. We're about to get... Oh, shit! Sorry. I jumped and moved the webcam. <laughs> and we are in Murder House. That was a cool little prologue. Like I said, I really like the uh, abandoned, well, it's not really abandoned, but uh, empty mall, I guess you could say. Um, I really like that being like stuck in a closed down mall and you're the only one there. It's just, I don't know, it feels unnatural, I guess. It's really creepy. Oh, yeah, there it is. Jacksepticeye is Janitor Jack. I knew it. <laughs> Missing children photos. See, that would be cool. Uh, puppet combo. If you're watching this, put me in a game. I think it would, it would honestly be cool, like... Jacksepticeye had dialogue and everything he got to do, but, like, even if I was just on, like, a missing poster flyer, like, I'd be completely okay with that. That's, that, that would be awesome. 
This music's great, dude. It feels like straight out of the 80s. Cool. So now we'll be going into the actual game, I'm assuming. Present day, 1988. Yep, we're in the actual game now. It's like a news, uh, a news van. Do we work for, are we like a news anchor or something? This place? I can't believe I went from the news desk to this. You're lucky you have this after the incident with the poodle. That could have happened to anyone. All right, let's get started. We don't have all day. Hmm. Where the hell is the real estate agent? to shoot this story. There's his car. Where the hell is he? Gary, dude, you need to chill. Like, maybe he's just in the house. Did you ever think of that? Hey, intern. What's your name again? Emma. Emma. Emma, you look just like Daria. <laughs> you remember the, uh, the cartoon Daria? That's literally what Emma looks like. Yeah, Emma. Make yourself useful and find us a way in. Dude, Gary's a dickhead. This is literally the worst day to start this internship. I pulled a 10 minute track practice and I don't think I can run for very long. I think Puppet Combo is trying to tell us that uh, our stamina is going to suck ass. Once my stamina, yeah, once my stamina drains, I'll have to take a break and walk it off before I can run again. Sweet. We in control now? Yeah, alright. Don't ask me. I'm just the camera guy. Dude, Tom, back up. Why are you leaning so close to me like that? Quit that. That's freaking weird. Chop, chop. We don't have all day. I hate this guy already. It's so gross here. <laughs> Dude, Dana's freaking leaning all close to me, too. Get out of my face. What the hell's wrong with you guys? So, there's our stamina bar. Well, it actually doesn't look that bad. It looks like I can run for a while, to be honest. It's locked. Can we just go in a window? The window is really dirty. I can't see inside. Okay. What about this one? No. No. Nope, okay, so... Okay, what what the fuck is going on with the camera? There's a shiny. Looks like a gun. I can't reach it from here. Can't you just stick your arm through the... Uh, I guess it's a... <laughs> Never mind, I'm an idiot. It looks like a fence. I'm assuming it's actual glass, though. Um... Is there like a cellar door connected to the house that I can go in? I had to have missed something. Oh wait, there, what's this? A basement window looks like it's open. Enter. Hell yeah. I can't believe I'm breaking into a house. Well, if it makes you feel better, I'm pretty sure it's abandoned. It sure is creepy in here. Yeah, I can't argue with that. The cabinet is locked. There must be something important inside. Okay, we'll have to remember that for later. 
Holy shit, it's dark in here. I not even I don't even think I have a yeah, I don't have a flashlight. So, I guess we'll save that for later too. An empty cabinet. Um Okay. Well, I guess we can't really do anything just yet. A dryer, it's sealed. I don't think I want to look inside. Okay. A washing machine, same thing. Okay, let's go upstairs. Some kitchen drawers, should I search them? Yeah. I guess it's locked. We'll have to remember that for later too. Nothing inside. Okay. Alright. Unlocked a door. That's probably the front or back door. Some kitchen drawers. Yeah, let's search them. A bunch of junk. You took the pencil. Okay. What's the pencil do? I can use this to write down my progress. Write, write down my progress. So is that like a saving system then? I assume there would just be like a checkpoint or something. A kitchen cabinet, yeah, let's search it. Yeah, I assumed it would just be like a checkpoint system. I didn't think I'd have to actually save it, but that sounds like I'm gonna need to like actually save. Okay, there's something over here. No, not there. Someone left a note, read it, yep. Hey, it's Jerry, the real estate agent. Looks like somebody broke the lock on the basement window and got in the house since the last time I was over here. They stole the goddamn fuse so the power is out. Don't worry, I know there's another fuse around here somewhere. I left the front door open in case I don't hear you guys drive up. Just shout for me when you get inside. Well, you weren't here, though, because we couldn't get inside and the front door wasn't open. I can't open it. The doorknob is missing. Okay. Um, let's go in here first. What's that? A hole in the floor. I see something shiny at the bottom, but I can't reach it. Okay. Ah, there's a lot of stuff I have to, like, take a mental note of. All right. Um, okay, so this just must be another way into the kitchen. What about this? It's locked. Seems like a flimsy lock, but I can't get in without a key. Okay. It's locked. All right. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and open up the front door. Good work. You got in. Did you see that goddamn real estate agent? No, I didn't, Gary. No, the house is empty. That bastard. I should have given you the 50 bucks. Dude, Gary looks like Mr. Potato Head. Like, if Mr. Potato Head had, like, actual, like, skinny, long legs instead of just shoes, that literally would be Gary. He is, he is Mr. Potato Head. Ew, it's musty. You're that musty, job. Dana. The hustle. Grab all the equipment in the van and get it in there. We're gonna set up. Okay, dude. You can't help? How many times are you gonna say chop chop too, by the way? Is that like your like your tagline or whatever? Nope. Sorry. I'm 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 gonna look super derpy in parts of this game, but I'm really not good with tank controls. Grab one of the cases. Yeah, I guess. I mean I know I'm the intern and everything, but like Gary or Dana or the other guy couldn't like grab the other one for me. You're gonna make me do it all. I love the Resident or uh, Resident Evil door loading screen, by the way. That's really cool. I hope this hard work pays off. 
Yeah, I like that style of loading screen. Wow, this is a cool house. Wow. All right, Owen Wilson. What do you have to say? You want to come help me? Every second of this. <sighs> Why do you... She just complains. Every line of dialogue from Dana so far has just been... Ugh, ugh, why are we here? Well, like, you're literally, like, it's not like we kidnapped you and brought you here, dude. I'm pretty sure you came on your own, like, you know... I'm pretty sure you came, like, on your own free will. Yeah, grab the other case. How many of these cases are there? Two, I guess. Finished. Never want to do this again. Are you talking about carrying suitcases or being an intern? The lights are set up, but there's no power in this house, damn it. <laughs> what do you expect? It's, it's abandoned, clearly. I better tell someone. Wow, this is a cool house. I guess I don't need to tell you, Tom. You're still amazed with the house. What Gary? Are you around for? Turn on those lights and let's get rolling. The power's out. We'll turn it back on. I don't know how. Figure something out. <laughs> Oh, man. What a freaking jerk. I hate every second oh, of this. Oh, God. Okay, well, let's go upstairs. Nothing inside. Grime. All junk. Okay, there's another locked thing. So there's one in the basement so far there's one in the kitchen and there's one up here okay yeah dude search it nothing okay another one at least they're in the same room though okay why did i even come in here Whoa, shit. <laughs> it's locked. Alright. It's pretty dark up here. Just a cabinet. Wait, it looks like there's something behind it. I can't move it myself. Yeah, I was going to say, that's like a really ominous looking cabinet just sitting in the corner. A dresser, should I search it? Yep. Great, it looks like a fuse. I hope it's the right size. Cool. So we got the fuse, now we just need to find the breaker. There's something over there. What is that? Will you take the pencil? Sure. So we got two pencils. Alright, so I assume the breaker would be in the uh, basement. Uh, what? What the fuck was that? It was like a red-haired girl. It's locked. Hey. Come back here. It's locked. It looks like solid iron. No way I can open this without a key. Dude, who was that? And why was she up here? She was like just waiting for me to come back out of the room. That's fucking creepy. Alright. Uh, let's go down in the basement. An average fuse box. Wait, I think a fuse is missing. Well, good thing we just found that one, right? I guess I just screw it in. Great, the power's back on. Is something inside the dryer? Uh, is 
Does that mean open it? Something is banging inside, but the door is jammed shut. Okay. So I can't get in there yet. Is that dark-ass room back here? Is it lit up now? No, it's still dark. Okay, so I can't go in there until I get a flashlight. For sure. Hey, the power's back on. Let's get started. Okay. All right, good. Everything's set, Tom? Yep. Lighting's ready. The camera's roll. What does he do exactly? He doesn't do shit. Hey, Gary, I was thinking we could... I don't pay you to think, Dana. I pay you to read the goddamn script. <laughs> I hate this job. Yeah, I don't blame you, Dana. Well, pull it together. Ready, everyone? All right. Action. Anthony Smith, more commonly known as the Easter Ripper. The mere mention of his name sends shivers up the spines of parents across the country. His horrible murder spree leaving lives shattered and families ripped apart. Tonight we'll go inside his vacant home where 11 innocent children spent their final moments in agonizing pain and terror. Untouched since those horrible crimes eight years ago, some say his spirit still haunts the home till this day. Some say his spirit still haunts the home till this day. So, is it going to be the actual... Is it going to be the actual uh, killer? Or is it going to be like his ghost? Or like... Demon? Or whatever. Hmm, interesting. I'm Dana Turner, and this is a News 9 special report. Silenced Tears. Inside the home of serial killer Anthony Smith. Cut! Let's take a break. <laughs> you didn't even do anything, dude. Why do you need to take a break? Gary, I think I want to redo the line where... This isn't 60 Minutes, Dana. It's Channel fucking 9. <laughs> We're out here to win a Pulitzer. Fine. I'm going to find a place in this gross house to fix my makeup. Yeah, you go do that. <sighs> Alright. Uh... Wait, where the hell did everybody go? Everybody just disappeared. What the fuck? Oh, wait, there's Gary. <clears throat> this is a great opportunity for you. Put in a little extra effort, and you can really get ahead. If you know what I mean. What a okay, fucking um, scumbag. Mind. Where the hell is Dana? I don't want to wait around all day! <laughs> I don't want to wait around all day! Sounds like Jerry Seinfeld. Oh, there she is. Fetch me a glass of water. Sure. Alright. So there was a mug upstairs in the kitchen. Am I really gonna use this old ass mug that's just sitting here? Yeah. And then am I really gonna use this old ass water to fill it up with? Just a sink. Yep. Yep, I am. Well, Dana, I hope you like diseases. Because you're about to have one. He did. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, she's like a robot. She was like, Ert? wait, did you wash this? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, we watched it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she straight up lied. Oh, I just remembered. I found this key lying around. See if you can find a real story in this house. Something that nobody has reported on. And maybe we can get hired on a real network. Hey, what are you goofing around for? <laughs> Set those lights up and let's get rolling. Yo, man. I can't get over his I character. I people to sleep here with this boring story. Time to sex this up. Hey, you. Me? Yeah, you. Put this sheet on. Gary, what the fuck are you doing? No one's gonna want to watch this boring thing. And your dry reporting isn't helping. I'm reading the teleprompter. <laughs> People want to see ghosts. People want to see ghosts. I'm pretty sure ghosts, like, if they're real, I'm pretty sure they don't, like, actually run around with sheets on their, like, over their body. What the fuck, Gary? Okay, intern. When Danny says he still haunts the home he grew up in, I want you to run through the background. Got it? All right. Let's do this. Oh, this is going to be good. After Dana says he still haunts the home he grew up in, I need to run through the door. Oh, is it going to actually make me do this? The rampage started in late March 1979, when Smith walked into a local mall and took a seasonal position as an Easter Bunny. A job meant to spread joy and cheer put him in the perfect position to <laughs> abduct young children until his capture and execution in 1985. Many of the bodies have not been recovered. As told by the sole survivor, Randy Martinez, Smith would release the children in his greenhouse and force them to go on a deadly Easter egg hunt while he stalked and murdered them. Two years later, many say he still haunts the home he grew up in. Two years later, many say he still shit, haunts shit. the home he grew up in. What was that? Tom, <laughs> what the did fuck, you dude? I apologize. I was like zigzagging. Home, but I just felt an energy pass by behind me. Let's continue deeper into the house and see what secrets we uncover. Cut! This is Raiding's Gold. Let's take a break and pick up in the bedroom. Great timing. I'm going to go use the restroom. Let's take a break, dude! First of all, I don't think anybody needs a break. <laughs> We've done like. Two paragraphs of filming, number one, and number two, you haven't done shit, Gary. You literally just stand there and chain smoke. Hey you, I'm getting hungry. Take the van and go pick us up some pizzas. Use the station credit card. Oh man. <laughs> Alright, yeah, we'll go pick up some pizzas, but first I'm gonna figure out what this key goes to. Does it go to this? I can't use this here. Okay. Hey, okay, what about this door? It's locked. Seems like a flimsy lock. Yeah, we already know that. Hey, there we go. It's unlocked. Let's go in and see. I feel safe in this room like nothing bad can happen here. An empty journal. Maybe I can use it to write down my progress. Okay. Okay, so this is a save room. Man, between um between the loading screens with the doors, um, the tank controls, and now this safe room with this like kind of creepy, unsettling music, um, it's really giving me Resident Evil vibes, like the original Resident Evil. Looks like a really old flashlight somebody dropped. Take it. Yeah, that looks exactly like the one Justin had in the prologue. It's probably his. Now I can see in the dark. Yeah, you can. Will you take the pencil? Sure. Cool. Let's go ahead and save the game. Here we go. Got anything in here? An empty cabinet. This would make a great hiding spot. The door over here, uh, but it's locked. Okay. What's that? 
somebody left a crowbar down here, it could be useful. Well, fuck yeah, let's take the crowbar. Alright. So, can we equip the crowbar? I could use this to open something that's jammed. Uh, well, that would be the dryer, right? Cool. What is that? That's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, okay, it's the doorknob. I'm kind of relieved. I was expecting something horrible. Yeah, you mean like a head or something? We're probably not too far away from that. Alright, let's go ahead. It's getting dark already. Yeah, let's go ahead and use the doorknob. I can open it now. Yeah, you can. What do we got in here? Is that... It's an Easter basket. Creepy. Yeah, no shit it's creepy. A fire poker, that's a pretty good weapon. I may need to defend myself. Will you take the fire poker? Uh, yeah. Cool, so I can equip the fire poker. Um... How do I how do I use it though? Oh, didn't mean to turn the flashlight off. Um. Oh wait, okay, hold on. I gotta hold right click, and then I can swing with left click. All right. Just a piano. Okay. I unlocked it. Oh, this must be the door by the stairs. Yep. Okay. Cool. I guess let's go get some pizzas. The van, who would do this? Uh, I think we know who did this. There's a note pinned on the windshield. Fuck, I really don't like this music. There's a note pinned to the van, read it, yes. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go, I think it says. Nowhere to go now. Looks like we'll be playing a game. You'll be hunting eggs. I'll be hunting you. Find them all and you can leave. Don't find them and you can't. Man, you need to learn what periods are, dude. Okay, there we go. Uh, Alright, well, this music sounds like we're about to get murdered, so let's uh, run back inside the house where we're safe. Alright, uh, Gary was... Was Gary still in the kitchen? No, he isn't. Guess let's check upstairs. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Why do kids keep running around like that, dude? Where are the pizzas? Dude, is that all you care about? There's something going on here. The van has been wrecked and the gate is locked. Where's Tom? I don't know. I, I can't find him either. Ugh, must be the goddamn real estate agent. <laughs> what, you think the real estate agent just kidnapped Tom? I told you you'd get another 50 bucks when we were done. Come out, you chicken shit. <laughs> Such an idiot. Damn it, Gary. It's getting dark, and this place is scary and gross. Can we finish this? Dana, didn't you just hear me say that the van is, like, completely wrecked? Fine. I don't know where the hell Tom is, so you're gonna have to hold the camera. Okay. What? I don't know how to work this. It's easy. Just hold it steady. That's about it. Okay. I don't need to press record or anything. Okay. I can just hold it. Action. This is Dana Turner, on location. 
I've just been informed that we're stuck here. Someone has wrecked our van and we can't get our fucking pizza lunch promised by my <laughs> producer. Is Anthony Smith executed in the electric chair in 1985 back from the dead and back for revenge on anyone who enters his house? Yeah. Find out soon if we don't get the fuck out of here. God damn it, Dana. <laughs> Cut. I want my lunch. I can't work under these conditions. Fine. We'll take a break. Hey, intern girl. Let's take a break. can find where the hell Tom is. All right, so we need to find Tom. Let's take a break. Dude, you suck, Gary. You're the laziest piece of freaking crap. Where the fuck is Tom? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. We've established this. I hate this stupid job. Yeah, I don't blame you, Dana. Dude, these two were made for each other. They're both just cranky little shitheads. Alright, um... Where would where could Tom be? There he is. Holy shit. Tom, I didn't think I would find you. This is getting weird. Do you think the Easter Ripper is back? It looks like we're stuck here. All the doors are locked. Look, I found a key, but I can't figure out what it opens. Let me see. You take it. Maybe you can find the door. I'm going to go look for another way out. I'll catch you later. Took the large key. A nice key. It must open, open something special. Um, that's probably that door upstairs that had like the iron fence around it or whatever the hell or the gate I mean yeah I heard that sounded like a kid either laughing or crying Oh god, shit's about to go down. Help me! There's somebody else in here! No! Oh shit! Oh my god, dude! Oh fuck, go, 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 go! Open it up, open it up! No, what the fuck? Yeah, the key! Oh god, he's right behind me, dude! Holy shit! The Easter Ripper, it can't be. <laughs> I think I'm safe. How am I going to get out of here? Uh, fucking jump through the window at this point. Who fucking cares how you get out of here? Just get the fuck out of here. Dude, oh my god. Dana got freaking mutilated. Will you take the pencil? Yeah. Oh my god, dude. A circuit breaker on something. I don't think I need to use this. Okay. A bed. A dresser. Should I search it? Yeah. It's empty. It's full of junk. Wait, what's this? He took the letter opener. The hell do I need a letter opener for? Okay. What's that? A broken old stove. Broken refrigerator. Is there anything back here? No. Okay. Dude, I don't want to go down there. Let's see what the letter opener does. It's pretty sharp. I wonder if I can pry open the uh, the locked dresser drawers with this. So we got the two upstairs in the room. 
the one in the kitchen and the one in the basement uh if that's what it does it's it's i mean that's the only thing i can think of dude don't be out here it's locked it's dana's head there's an easter egg shoved in her mouth will you take the death egg i guess you took the death egg okay Oh wait, this isn't the room. What was this room? Dude, where is he at? Alright, that's what it does do. Alright, that's what I thought. Got another pencil. And then this one has a locked one too. A gun, just what I need to protect myself. Hell yeah, dude. Let's, let's equip the gun. Hell yeah. That's a lot better, right? Okay. Now we can go check the one down in the, uh... In the, uh, basement. Hope he's not down there. Oh, fuck! Oh my god, dude, where am I? What the fuck?! Oh damn, he just snapped me in half. Holy shit! Please don't be out here again, dude. That was like extremely bad luck. Okay. He's not. So I need to go to the basement. Dude, is he going to be in the basement? A magnet, what can I use this for? Um, um, what can we use the magnet for? Can I use the magnet to pick up whatever this is? Yeah, okay, cool. It looks like a key. Okay, the only place that we haven't gone, I think, that needs the key is the other uh the other door upstairs so i guess let's go up there all right looks like a note read it sure the big bunny watches us its black eye follows me when i move its big black eye follows me when i move it always watches at night we hear noises coming from the walls the first time I heard them, I got happy because I thought it was you and mommy shouting for me coming to save me, but it wasn't. When the shouting starts, the others cover their ears, but I try and listen. I put my head against the wall and hold my breath, but no matter how hard I try, I can't understand what they are saying. They shout and cry a lot. It isn't mommy and it isn't you, but it sounds like adults and they sound sad, really sad. Did the Easter Bunny take them too? Um... What the fuck? Dada is dead. Okay. 
Holy shit, dude. I thought that was him coming in here. Help me find an exit! There he is. Damn, dude. Carved like a Thanksgiving turkey, am I right? He deserved it, though. He was a freaking shithead. Is he gone? I hope so, dude. Uh, yeah, let's search the dresser. Nothing inside. Nothing but junk. Wait a second, there's something here. Will you take the black light? Uh, sure? You got the black light. Just a stupid black light. What am I going to do with this? Yeah, I was kind of thinking the same thing. Like, I don't know what to do with that. Oh. I probably used the black light up here. I didn't even think about that before. Yeah, and then it probably reveals anything, something. Yep, there's something on the ground. I see some old blood coming from behind the cabinet. Thanks to the black light, move it. Yeah, of course. A dumb waiter, write it down. Sure. Dresser, yeah, let's search it. All junk, nothing. That's a locked one, okay. Got pistol ammo. Locked it. Is this like a shortcut back to the basement? No. It is not. It would be terrible to be restrained this way. Yeah, you don't say. Will you take the rope? I guess so. You took the rope. Sorry to take this, but I needed to get out of here. Do we? Horrible things happen here. Yeah, clearly. I'm going to be sick. Yeah. Looks like a note. Read it. Sure. The blonde girl is gone. Gracie won't stop staring at the big bunny on the wall. Randy says the chocolate eggs make us sleepy. Nothing going, not going to eat tonight. Randy told me to memorize this song. I don't know what he means. I wrote it down. 888-3553-1212-1010-8. Um, yeah, there's no way I'm memorizing that. I'm going to put that in my phone real quick. All right. So, should I search it? Yes. Okay, I got another pencil. Just junk. This is like his little torture dungeon, dude. There's another door here. Looks like a note. He visited again. No one saw him, but we woke up and there was a big basket of eggs. I was so hungry I nearly forgot to take the wrapping off. We all took big bites, but... That blonde girl, when she took her bite, her mouth was covered in blood. She dropped the egg, and inside the chocolate, the Easter Bunny had played a trick and put sharp razor blades. Damn, there was a lot of blood, and she wouldn't stop screaming, and the walls started to laugh. The walls started to laugh at her? What the hell does that mean? This child seems to have died from the cold. A skeleton of a toddler in its crib. Dude, this guy's sick. Died of starvation. This dude is sick. 
You've unlocked it. Okay. Where does this go? Okay, this is back out. This is back in the basement. Dude, he's gonna be down here. <sighs> this game has me, like, on fucking edge right now. What's that? Tom's camera, it's broken, but the tape is still here. Maybe I can find out what happened to him. Take the tape. Sure. There's the V or the the TV up in the bedroom that I can go to. I need to save real quick. It feels like somebody is holding the door shut. Fuck, dude, so it's not going to let me save. Oh god. Jesus Christ, man. What the fuck is that, dude? I couldn't even... I, I would have been so fucking dead there, I couldn't even fucking shoot. I was like... Eh. Oh, wait. This isn't the room with the TV. Uh, What the fuck, dude? He's hanging now? Wait, what's this? Will you take the egg? I guess. I need to collect them all. So I guess give them here. So I haven't seen the, uh, the bunny. A TV, too bad this house doesn't have cable. I don't need it for cable, dude. I need it for this. Well, Tom's dead. Yep. I'm the only one alive. Great. Oh no, not Tom too. Did the killer hide something in the piano? Can I save now? Shit, dude! What the fuck, man? I was trying to save! Alright, I guess I'm gonna go hide in the basement. <sighs> fuck. He... I was literally saying before we watched the, uh, the tape that I hadn't seen the Easter Ripper in a while, and I was like, is he not, like, active right now anymore? Nope, he definitely fucking is. Okay, it sounded like he left. Dude, don't be in the don't be in the kitchen, please. I just want to go save. That's all I want to do. Whew, okay. All right. I can save. I can breathe a little bit. He put something in the piano, but the cover is locked. There must be another way to open it. Use the piano. Yes. The fuck do I do here? There we go. Okay, so... This puzzle took me a little while to figure out. Um, it's from that note that we found back in, like, the little torture dungeon area. 
and that sequence of numbers was actually piano keys, um, but you had to take out all the black keys. Like, if you're numbering it 1 to, uh, what, what is it, 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, yeah, if you're numbering it 1 to 12, you have to take out the black keys, and when you take out the black keys and you only play the song um, on the white keys, that's what it, uh, that's what it unlocks it. Okay, got an egg. So, should I put them all on? Is that all of them? It didn't do anything, though. Looks like there's something behind it. I can't move it myself. Can I use the rope? I think I can tie the rope around this. Okay. <laughs> I was wandering around for a while trying to figure out what the fuck I needed to do, and this is this this was it. This is all I needed to do. All right, I'll give it a shot. Pull it, dude. There's literally a fucking crazy dude trying to kill you. He's walking around the house. Let's go. He probably heard that, too. He's probably coming for us. Alright, um... A sink. Whoa, shit, dude. What the fuck, man? God. Oh my God, dude. Why? Yeah, get in there, get in there. What the fuck? As soon as I went in... As soon as I went in that room, he was in there, dude. He's gone. I'm like almost dead. Dude, this game's scary. This is the kind of shit that, uh, that scares me, for real. Like, not jump scare shit. Like, being stalked progressively throughout a game where there is just, like, an enemy, you know, roaming around. Or whatever. That is the stuff I don't like. Okay, got bandages. Oh, uh, yeah, search it. Nothing. So, what do I need in here? There's something here. The real estate agent, he has something stuffed in his mouth. Okay, that that has to be the last egg then, right? Yeah, that motherfucker, that door was locked and he came through there. Unless he was literally just fucking waiting for me. Alright, so... I saved the game. And I healed myself. So I need to put this last, uh... This last egg in the basket. That's four eggs. Unlock the exit, you bastard. Yeah, no kidding. Now what do I do? Is there anything I haven't checked? Not that I know of. Is there? Oh, okay. So this door is open now. Okay. Are we getting the fuck out of here, dude? ladder must be the way to escape climb it well yeah why is that even a question all 
Okay, we're in the greenhouse. Um, there was the gun. There was the gun here. Let's get that. Someone left a gun out here. I hope it still works. Will you take the shotgun? Fuck yeah! How many bullets do I have? I have three and four. Yeah, dude. We're equipping the shotgun. No fucking question. I'm assuming he's gonna fucking come since we get the shotgun. <gasps> yep, there he is. Fucking dick. Tom? Tom! Holy shit! I didn't even think about it. Dude! I didn't even think about it. We found the egg in the piano, but we never found Tom's body. So Tom is the fucking Easter Ripper? That's right. It was quiet. Innocent Tom. Harmless. Walk all over him, Tom. Mama's boy, Tom! Well, I did. I killed them all. But why? Yeah, really, why? To avenge my brother. Anthony wasn't the Easter Ripper. I was! He turned himself in to save me. I thought I could control the urge to kill, but it's back. And now, I'm going to kill you! Uh, boss fight? Oh god. Dude, do not have any fucking more bullets? Shit! I need to switch guns, dude! Did I kill him? I'm almost fucking dead. Oh god, let's get out of here. Let's go. The gate is locked. Fuck. Fuck, what do I do? Oh no, dude. I'm literally almost dead. You can't kill me. I'm the Easter Ripper! The door opened. Oh shit, that's the dude, that's the kid from the beginning, that's Justin. Holy shit, dude, all the kids that he killed are coming back for revenge. Now's my chance, I better run. Yeah, dude, I'd say so, get the fuck out of there. Oh man, that was Murder House, guys. Holy shit. I can finally freaking breathe. Um, so Puppet Combo has nailed it again, clearly. Um, this game was fucking fantastic. It was scary as hell because walking around the house not knowing when he is going to bust in and chase you is absolutely terrifying. Uh, that mixed with the tank controls, which I guess is personally for me, that makes it more scary because I really suck at tank controls. So when he busted in, I was trying to run and like outmaneuver him, and it was really hard because, you know, I, I suck with tank controls. Um, God, so okay, so it was, it was scary. Um, I really liked the story. Um, I like the setting at the, in the prologue with the mall, like I said. Um, abandoned malls and stuff like that are just naturally creepy, in my opinion. So I, I thought that really set the mood for the game. That was a perfect, that was like a perfect setting for it. Um, and I like the house, too. I liked how um, it didn't seem like it was that big originally, but there was like all these little hidden corridors and stuff, and it was really like a big, a big house to explore. Um, 
a lot of the puzzles were really straightforward minus the piano one um, I'm gonna edit out a lot of the footage from me trying to figure out what the hell I needed to do but it actually took a while um, so that one had me stumped for a little while and uh, the ending was fucking great so if he would have just died and we would have just left I mean that would have been fine I would have been okay with that but the fact that he got up I was like shitting my pants thinking that I was gonna have to like go round two with this dude and then all the kids come back from the dead and get him uh, that was that was perfect I loved that so much and uh, I guess the people running around throughout the game that was scary too because it was like it was just out of nowhere and they didn't say anything and they were just like running around uh, I guess those were all the dead kids like haunting the house maybe yeah, anyways, um, I'm going to end the video here. That was Murder House. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think of Murder House. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe. As always, I, uh, I appreciate it. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay spooky.